When evaluating the college football playoff CFP rankings, it's time to embrace a revolutionary concept, prioritize what happens on the field. The current rankings, however, seem to ignore this obvious measure. Instead, they lean heavily on the oversimplified notion that fewer losses automatically equate to a better team. This approach has led to glaring inconsistencies, none more evident than the disparity between the rankings of Texas and Ole Miss. The case against Texas. Let's focus on the facts. Texas, currently sitting at number 3, slogged to an uninspiring 20-10 victory over Arkansas on Saturday in Fayetteville. The Longhorns struggled against an Arkansas team that Ole Miss dismantled just two weeks ago in the same stadium, winning 63-31 in a game that wasn't even competitive. Yet, Texas retains its high ranking, despite a season devoid of a signature victory or a stretch of dominant performances. Their best wins? A victory over Colorado State, a Group of Five program, and another over Vanderbilt, the perennial basement dweller of the SEC. Neither constitutes a statement that justifies a top three ranking. Even their lone loss raises questions, a home game against Georgia, where they trailed 23-0 in the second quarter. It was a performance so poor that head coach Steve Sarkeesian benched Heisman Trophy candidate Quinn Ewers in favor of a desperate quarterback rotation with Arch Manning. Texas looked overwhelmed, with both quarterbacks seemingly unprepared to face Georgia's defense. The case for Ole Miss. Contrast this with Ole Miss, ranked number 11, whose resume is undeniably more impressive. The Rebels didn't just beat Georgia, they embarrassed the Bulldogs with an 18-point blowout, handing Georgia its worst regular season loss since 2018. Ole Miss also dominated South Carolina, a team that had been one of the hottest in the SEC, with a commanding 24-point victory. Their two losses, both came on the road, in heartbreaking fashion. They lost to Kentucky and LSU on improbable fourth-down plays. These weren't blowouts or games where they were outclassed, they were the result of razor-thin margins in highly competitive environments. Had those plays gone differently, Ole Miss might still be unbeaten. The problem with the committee's logic the CFP committee's preference for rewarding teams with